like this every day. Hey, Emily. Hey, Desai. What are you? Una paleta, a popsicle. I got one for you, too. <gasps> the Una paletas, or popsicles, started in Mexico in the 1940s. They became popular for their fresh fruit flavors. Today, paletas are a special treat in Latin America, often sold by paleta street vendors or paleteros and enjoyed at family events celebrating local fruits and Yummy. flavors. Just like in the Sea Sabo Kids books. Really? That's awesome! Let's meet Mike, the creator of Sea Sabo Kids. Hola Plaza Familia, my name is Mike Alfaro and I'm the creator of Si Sabo Kids, a new line of bilingual education children's books to help parents who don't know any Spanish teach their kids Spanish. Let's find out what inspired Mike to create Si Sabo Kids. So a lot of the work that I do is inspired by my heritage, especially on Si Sabo Kids. You know, I'm a dad now and so I wanted to make sure that my daughter grew up with a similar experiences that I did growing up when it comes to bilingualism. My mom taught me early on that being bilingual would open the doors of the world to you and she started even though she didn't know any english at all she started teaching me english with flashcards and books and i want to do the same for my daughter but you know the reverse with spanish because i think there's so much benefits to learning spanish in the united states now i'm creating books that will help her out and the books are based on experience that i had too growing up uh, in the latin american country what are your books about our first collection of books is called Los Street Vendors, and it's about street vendors that are teaching kids different things. So for instance, we have this one book called El Paletero, where a street vendor, a paletero, is teaching kids about the different shapes that the paletas come in. So you're learning shapes in Espanol, you know, like una paleta, la paleta de círculo, una paleta cuadrada, una paleta de triángulo. And so these are ways that I incorporated a little bit of you know, heritage of like going up to a street vendor in Guatemala and buying unos helados diferentes of different shapes. Um, and I wanted to translate that into this book as well. How do you include bilingualism into your books? Bilingualism is something that I definitely incorporate into all of my books and also our games. We have a new, uh, my first bilingual game set that just became available at Walmart. Three, actually three games in one that helps kids learn Spanish through different ways of playing with their family. And so for me, with these books and games, I'm trying to make sure that people are less afraid of starting a new language, even if they don't know it. I think it's very beneficial for your kids to see you also learning along with them. All of our books come with pronunciation guides at the end that's phonetically sounding it out so that if you speak English, you can learn how to pronounce. Instead of saying rojo, you say rojo, you know? And so it's actually very beneficial to have those things in there because a lot of parents are just afraid to start teaching their kids a second language. And with these Sabo Kid books, you can give this to someone who doesn't know any Spanish at all and they'll be able to teach their kids. Mike really knows what's good and knows how to bring our culture to life. Gracias, Mike. Thank you so much, Plaza Familia, for inviting me to talk about my heritage, my books, and everything that has to do with C. Sabo. So please go check out our books, and I will see you next time. See you next time, Plaza Familia. Continue learning with Lingo Plaza. Go to weareplaza.com. And don't forget to subscribe.